are the Dolphins being disrespected? A lot of the national pundits, Sports Illustrated <laughs> and Pro Football Network have them. Pretty much everyone has them going nine and eight and either missing the playoffs or barely making the playoffs. I want to come to you, Vlad, and say, you know, this team is better than that. And I really do believe they are better than that. But did they get really any better or worse this offseason? I would say they kind of where they kind of what they were last year so far. I know Christian Wilkins isn't with the team, but no, they, I, right now, you got Odell Beckham Jr., though, on paper, they're pretty much the same team. I don't know. They might be a slightly, hmm, slightly down from last year's team. I mean, you losing. Here's the thing: you don't know the status of uh, Bradley Chubb and, and, and Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips that's you, you don't know if they're gonna come back. I. It's you hope that they do, but it's still a question mark if they come back to the form that they were, uh, and. It's a new defense. You need to see what's going to happen with the new defensive coordinator. Yeah, and you don't know what Chop Robinson can bring. You don't know what Mo Kamara can bring to you as far as edge rushing. But I can understand that you look at the offense and think that the offense might have gotten more even better from what they were last year with the – the addition of John Smith and uh, Odell Beckham Jr. But And you have to admit this. If Tyreek Hill is healthy, he's lethal. Right, but I think – for after seeing two years of Mike McDaniel and Tua together, I think people know what to expect. Now it's the Dolphins' question. The Dolphins have to answer the questions of, are they a team that can win in the call? One in five against teams that made the playoffs last year. And, okay, last and, year. and, and the one team they beat. So you got, two, you got two questions to answer. Can you beat teams with winning records and can you in the NFL and can you win in the call? Right. And, and they, the way the NFL schedule makers – lined it up they're gonna they're gonna test you yeah and i'm not gonna play that homer game we're like nobody respects us the national pundits don't no national pundits and the national reporters saw what they did last year one in five against winning teams couldn't win in the cold weather saw that they didn't get that much better or worse and say yeah they're gonna be pretty much like they were last year and that's not them hating that's just them evaluating and saying yeah what i think is you got Odell Beckham Jr. You got Jalen Wright. That's going to help your offense. I think the defense will be fine. I don't know. Anthony Weaver is a question mark. But by the time that Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb get back, should be pretty solid. I think this team is more motivated. They know the narrative around them, which is they're a finesse team. They can't win in the cold. They can't beat playoff teams. They're going to be a little extra motivated this year. And they're going to be a little bit better this year. I think they will. I, I've been saying this, and I'll stick by it until it, is proven wrong. I think they're better this year than they were last year. And I think they're going to get their first playoff win in a very, very long time. I see the my I see the Dolphins looking like the Miami Heat this past season. Ah, uh, we just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. And then Yeah. Because look, man, they they lined you guys up nice, bro. They like they really want to, they want you to they they Missouri you guys. You got to show and prove. You got to show me. That is they got a game Thanksgiving night in Green Bay. Then you got a Sunday night game in Cleveland. Then you end the year off in New York. Yeah, they want to see what that offense, what that quarterback can do when the climate's not 69 degrees or better. They want, or whatever. They want to see what he can do. They want to see what this team can do. Well, you open the season at home September 8th against Jacksonville. Which is an important game, by the way, because Jacksonville needs to also rebound from their, uh, their fall off last season and you don't know in the tiebreakers for a playoff positioning a, a, a win in week one against Jacksonville may be important later on in the season then you get a Thursday night game against the Bills mm, we'll that's that important that, we'll see how that goes and we're going to kind of fast forward towards the end of the season what's going to look like you do get that as you said Thanksgiving Day game in Green Bay 820 kickoff I have lived in Wisconsin I have been there for Thanksgiving. I've been there, bro. It ain't pretty. It ain't I, fun. I was there right before in October, middle of October. It was cold. That's when the snow starts. It's around it Thanksgiving. It was cold. Yeah. So then a month later, Thanksgiving. Oh, man. This is not what you want to do. You don't want to leave my beautiful, comfortable Miami go to Green Bay for Thanksgiving. You get a Texans game on December 15th, but that is indoors, so the air conditioners will be blowing absolutely fine. Ugh. Thank goodness no Christmas Day game. I don't care. 
I don't want to spend my Christmas working, watching, doing anything. Like, I don't want that. No, I don't need the stress on my I got enough stress on Christmas. And it's a nasty six that the Dolphins in the year with. They put them in a nasty spot the last two games. You got to go December 29th to Cleveland. Oh, but no, but check this out. This yeah. is the last six, right? After they play the Patriots on November 24th, they go to, like you said, they go to, on Thanksgiving, they go play the Packers, right? Mm hmm. Then they come home and play the Jets. Then they go on the road to play the Texans. Then they come home to play the Niners. Yeah. Then they go in the year off at Cleveland in at New York. New York Jets. And that New York Jet game could be a night game depending on what what's going on in playoff positioning division. I was going to say, those schedulers are so smart because they see that this game could mean the difference between making the playoffs, not making the playoffs, winning the division, not winning the division. That game. Get out. We're gonna get ahead of ourselves, but January fifth, that game could be for all the marbles right there. Could be I think if you're games. the Dolphin fan, if you're a Dolphin fan, what you just want is maybe defensively, you want this team to be to learn Anthony Weaver's defense, get you know, start coming together, and then when Chubb and Jalen Phillips do come back, now you have a full unit. Vlad, as a Dolphins fan, if you tell me right now, January fifth, MetLife Stadium against the Jets will determine whether either of the team makes the playoffs. As a Dolphins fan, I'd take that. I'd say, okay, it's our chance. <laughs> I'll definitely take that as a Jeff. I know you would too. Yeah, but this is a chance to change the narrative. This is a chance to prove you can win on the road, in the cold, against good teams. This is a chance to exercise all those demons and get yourself playoff ready. That's all you can ask. I mean, we had it last year, a chance to get the number one overall seed a couple times, and we blew that. We had a chance to win the division, blew that. But all you can ask as a fan or as a team is to control your own destiny. I mean, and look at the schedule. I it's mean, a they, tough schedule. No, but they uh, towards the end, but they really helped you guys out in the beginning. Two home games, Jacksonville, Buffalo. Two night. Then you go to Seattle. That's a winnable game. That's a long trip. Then Monday, uh, was it Monday night against Tennessee? Oh, you gotta get that's revenge, revenge. Revenge. Patriots. That's a They're win garbage. at in New England. Colts. You never know what you're gonna get. You're going to New England in November. I mean, in October, early October. That's okay. Not, okay. Then at Indy, that could be a tough game. Anthony Depending, Richardson. Anthony Richardson. But you're yeah, coming but, off a bye. But you're also playing in in a stadium indoors. Right, and you're coming off your bye. Yeah, you're good. You know, international games. Arizona. That's a winnable game. Kyler Murray's good though. But at yes. Buffalo in early November. We'll see what happens there. Yeah, Buffalo. At, at L.A.? Is that a Monday night game? That's a Monday night game at the Rams. You never know what you're going to get with the Rams. Uh, the but Raiders, you can win that game. Woo, those Raiders, we got them good last year. But Raiders woo. are coming. You, Raiders Jimmy are Ramsey. coming to you, Miami. Ramsey. That's going to be tough for them. But that's the Christian Wilkins revenge game. Yeah. I, I, am, I am not. I am, I guess, the only person that says, you know, Christian Wilkins, good luck, and, good luck with the Raiders. I, I'm not this, oh, huge loss. I want to see what happens. That's why I say I'm going to keep an eye on what Christian Wilkins does. He'll probably have another good season, but I don't know if he's going to earn his money that they're quote unquote paying him. We'll see. We get attached to players sometimes. And I like Christian Wilkins. I wish we could have kept him, but at the same time, the price was just too high, but maybe he'll get revenge. Maybe, but he deserves to get paid. That's no, no, why you drafted him. No, that's what I say. He deserves to get paid. He did get paid. He is getting paid. Dolphins just couldn't afford to pay him. That's all I'm saying.